Today's video is going to be a very deep clean of my four-year-old's bedroom. We are actually listing our house on the market. Actually, when this video is out, in fact, today when I'm filming this voiceover, it was posted on the market. So we will see how fast it goes in this crazy market. Oh my goodness, how many times can someone say the word market? Anywho, moving on. I had to do a really deep clean of my daughter's bedroom. She was actually visiting her dad for the night, so I decided to do a full on deep clean scrub the walls with a magic erase marker, the baseboards, everything, and get this house ready to be sold. As you can see, I really haven't moved this stuff much, and you will see how nasty the walls are. With the little one, she drew on the walls, there were fingerprints, it was really gross, and the camera's not picking up as much, but seriously, the walls were so absolutely dirty. I've always tried to use a magic eraser and recently I was told that you're supposed to put water on it. Um, kind of embarrassing now that I know how to do it, that I, I was like, magic erase markers don't work. And I was just taking them out of the package and trying to wipe and nothing was happening. Clearly I should read the instructions. Once I finally actually read the instructions and dipped it in water, oh my goodness, it was amazing. Also these clips are so funny because there's a little fly just going around the room and I just thought it was absolutely hilarious with it sped up. Just seeing this little fly zipping around the camera, I don't know, I just thought it was funny. Anyways, moving on. Look at it go, oh my goodness. But seriously, this magic erase marker is literally magic. Seriously, Mr. Clean, you know what's up. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't know about this sooner. I wanted to start off with a good broom, and then I'm going to be using my steam mop that I bought. This was like $60 Canadian. I bought it at Home Depot, but you can really buy it anywhere. It is the shark one and it works really, really great. I absolutely love it. The only thing I would say is I personally still think you should have a normal mop. I wouldn't myself replace this as the mop. I did try that for a while and then eventually I had to go back and just buy like one of those $15 mops and buckets that you see. And seriously, when I mopped, it was crazy. But the steam mop really gets up all that gunk. What I normally do now is I'll do a really good broom and a sweep and then I'll do a nice mop with the bucket and the like old fashioned, you know, mop bucket kind of swivel thing. And then I'll go in with the steam mop and I feel like that really gets it. Now that's not every day, that's only the deep clean, but that's how I do it. As you can see, scrubbing these walls was absolutely exhausting. My daughter's room is very, very, very large. It's hard to tell on camera. It is a very big bedroom, bigger than most master bedrooms. So it was a lot to scrub each and every wall. As you can see, the, just the little fingerprints everywhere by the light switch. It was a mess. Also, my daughter gets really, really bad nosebleeds, just like I did as a kid. My camera actually died at the point where I tried to show it, but her door was covered in like dried nosebleed mess. It was just, it was not nice. So I had to scrub that down as well. Putting everything back now that it is nice and clean and I had to kind of do it in sections like I said her room is really large so it was just easier for me to do it in sections this way especially with the floor so for this part I decided to just move the things later on I actually just rearranged her whole bedroom so for the staging of the house but that's how I actually staged it in the end and I can definitely do a video about that and how I stage and prepare my house for the showings I haven't actually had a showing yet because it just got posted about four hours ago but I'll definitely do a video about me preparing for the showings one of the things here that I was doing is depersonalizing the space so a big thing when you're selling your home is taking any photos and personalized items out of the space so that when you have showings and people are going throughout your home they can really imagine and picture themselves in your home and not see pictures of you I don't know about you but when I was buying this home there were seven people living in this tiny home and I mean, I still bought it, but I, I agree, it would be hard to picture yourself. It kind of feels weird going into a home and looking to buy it when people are living there. So as much as I can make it easier and not as uncomfortable for people, the better. And taking down some personal photos of my child and me was one of the steps there. I don't really think random people want to see pictures of my child and I all over the place. So that was something I just decided to do. 
as you saw that baseboard was so nasty it spits and it is so gross oh my gosh this wall Ooh, I, don't, I think that's spaghetti sauce I don't even know sometimes I let my toddler eat in her bedroom I really shouldn't because it's upstairs and it just makes a mess but I did anywho cleaning up all that baseboard mess it's a hot mess but uh, I did what I could with the magic eraser seriously this stuff is amazing I will say if you've ever used the magic erasers I did buy the four times a strong version and those actually broke very quickly on the baseboards whereas later on I bought just the regular magic eraser nothing fancy and those worked great and then they also have specific ones for like the bathroom and the kitchen as well I haven't personally tried the kitchen ones but the bathroom ones worked wonders my camera ended up dying on me so this is the next day I did finish up her room but I wanted to show some things so first of all we have a portable air conditioner in here and it wasn't really working great until I realized these filters come out it had such a thick layer of dust on them so you pull this one out and then behind is another one that you can pull out so I pulled all of those out there were four total and my goodness there was like the thickest layer of dust it was like a dryer sheet okay it was nasty it was nasty so now it should work better this is like a six-year-old air conditioner. So that is something I cleaned up yesterday in her room as well. But I just wanted to share that because if you have one of these, check the air filters. Seriously, I didn't know it was a thing. Anywho, this is as much of the grime as I could get off. But honestly, before, you saw the before, it was gross. And it's because, sorry, it's because this thing right here spits. It spits very hot boiling water. There's nothing they can do about it. I've tried to get it fixed. Yes, in my daughter's room, that is what happens. Very unfortunate. So you have to be super careful. And normally I put something in front of it, which is what they recommended. Cleaning this table, I just took a magic eraser to it and the windowsill. I finished the laundry and everything. So I'm going to throw her pillows back on and I will show you what it looks like in the end. A couple things we do have to get rid of for the move. I need to get rid of this poster, so I'm just going to give it away um, because obviously when you're selling a house, you don't want it to look like a kid's room. And I'm going to be putting, there's a blanket under the bed for my sister. That's just like not a kid's blanket. So I'm going to put over top and cover all this, even though it is obviously a kid's room. And then when we're showing the house as well, I'm going to put this inside the closet, just making it look a little nicer because that is blue and eyesore. So it'll look really neutral there. Um, I can't really do much about some of the stuff here. so. I did try to clean them up as much as I could. I will probably put this in the closet and her little stroller as well. So just keep out her kitchen. And then I will be getting rid of this. This was a free dollhouse we got. She just puts this little castle in here, but she really doesn't play with the dollhouse much. Um, maybe once every now and then, like a couple weeks. But I really don't want to move this giant thing across our province. Um, it's just not worth it to me. She doesn't play with it enough, so we will be getting rid of that and just passing it on to someone else. She keeps her castle. So those are things I need to change up before we do list our house, but it is pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to put away these few things and show you the finishing touches. Something that was also missed yesterday was I did do a final steam mop, like a huge final steam mop of the room um, on over top of what I've already mopped. And the mop was so gross. Like I'll show you right here what it looked like. My camera ended up dying, but look how disgusting that mop is from steam mopping my daughter's room. Like, her floor looked clean. It just needed a little sweep. It was not clean. There was rice in her floor. I don't know how we did the table downstairs, but... Ugh. Time to throw this in the wash. It was disgusting. Um, just comes to show you how much, even though the room and the floors look clean, Ever since getting a steam mop, that was the best $60 I've ever spent because the floors look so nice and clean. I have mopped with soap and water and cleaner and everything. And you get out a steam mop and it is just like the amount that you get out after. You didn't even know your floors were dirty. <laughs> it's crazy. So, yes. Okay. Obviously, this is not what it's going to look like when I put my house on the market and list it. Like I said, we'll be throwing another neutral blanket over top, just like a... A nice burgundy one but this is how she sleeps at night because we don't have a bed rail anymore for her so I put this pillow here so she doesn't fall off the bed and this is how she likes her bed set up with her little blanket and all that stuff that's how she sleeps in that little corner right there and then I just I do I, I do like to call myself a minimalist but I keep 
one extra bedding. I think something's in this. I keep one extra bed sheet for her because if you have kids, you know when they have an accident or if they do get sick on the off occasion they do get sick, in the middle of the night you are exhausted. It's 3 a.m. your kid's sick. The last thing you want to do is throw on a load of laundry. So having an extra to just toss on the bed, so handy. I know some people just use a blanket or like a towel that they throw over top, but for me, I just like having one extra bed sheet for both my kids' beds, and that's what I do. And then this is just where I'm keeping some stuff. So this is some other things I'm just going to be donating and passing on. Extra bed sheet. I know there's like a TikTok hack of how to fold these, but I don't know it, so I just shove it in there. We don't have like a linen closet or anything, so we just use that. My, si my sister, my daughter's bed used to actually be on the floor, just like a mattress on the floor because that way she wouldn't roll off. And we ended up getting her this, so it was a double mattress on the floor, a long one. She wouldn't roll off, she had a big bed. We got her a smaller mattress and an actual bed. That way we could put stuff under it. We don't really have storage in our house, so our Christmas tree is under there. And a couple, like you saw, like our linen closet stuff is under there. And that is that. I also have it looking like this for now. But like I said, when we're actually listing the house, pretty much everything is going to go in the closet. Yes, the potential buyers might be coming in here and looking in the closet. But at least when they're walking in, it's not what they're seeing right away. And then I'm pretty sure they can justify the fact that the stuff will be neatly in the closet. So there you have it. My daughter's room is ready to list. When we have showings, all I'm going to do, like I said, is those couple things. And voila, it's tidy. The floors are clean. And the air conditioner's still in the middle of the room, but you know, you can't win them all. Seriously, these were so gross. The baby is currently sleeping right now, having a little nap. It is like 30 something degrees in my house. It is so hot, but I need to steam off these floors. We did get the kitchen done yesterday. My partner and his friend came along and he did it for us, which is amazing. And the next step, the final step is this flooring to get done and changed. And this tap, I am going to replace this tap. Um, which I've talked about a little bit. It's just nasty, but I need to get a wrench to do that. So that's the next and final steps. So for these videos, I'm actually trying to do one room at a time. So deep clean one room each day. And that's kind of how I'm going to be breaking it up. I don't know if I'm going to be specifically doing one video for each room. Maybe I'll throw some together if it's a small room. But today I'm tackling the kitchen. That is my next deep clean. That is going to be a messy one, a gross one. And I do it at nighttime when the kids are in bed. So if the lighting is a little off or I'm a little bit more quiet, that is why. That's going to be the next video that I will be posting, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.